Yes, students. You might have studied the various conditions to establish the molecular orbitals. Three essential conditions are there to form the molecular orbital. Number one, combining atomic orbitals should be of same or similar energy. It is very important one. Number two, combining atomic orbitals should be of same symmetry. Exactly symmetry means what? That concept you will come to know now. Till that x orbital, y orbital, symmetric along x axis, y axis, likewise we are considering. No, that is not the only understanding of this symmetry concept. Symmetry concept means related to this point group, related to this scatter table, related to the Mullikan notations. So what exactly it is that we are going to study? And in order to consider this symmetry concept, one principle was there, and the name of the principle was yes lcao linear combination of atomic orbitals so what it is that we are going to learn and third condition was there should be appreciable overlap so about the second condition we are working now provided all other conditions are fulfilled now say ammonia molecule in ammonia molecule nitrogen at center and three hydrogens are there around so those three hydrogens will form a group those group orbitals will interact with the orbitals of the central atom. But what will be the symmetry of that? That's the LCAOs of that group we can establish. Once we find reducible representation, after reduction of reducible representation, we will get symmetries of those atomic orbitals, group orbitals. We can say it has LCAOs. Those will combine with the orbitals of the central atom. That's a nitrogen. Let us see one by one. For C3V point group, let me consider ammonia as an example. Six operations are there and three irreducible representation, which are those A1, A2 and E. Let us obtain reducible representation for ammonia molecule using bond vector method. That reducible representation will be 3, 0, 1. I had explained it in detail in other video. This can be reduced by using reduction formula and we will find number of times A1 occurs is equal to 1, A2 occurs is equal to 0 and E occurs is equal to 1. Means our desired reducible representation is made from A1 and E. So in ammonia molecule, nitrogen at center and three hydrogens are there in periphery. Those three hydrogens will form group and LCAOs will be produced. Those LCAOs will be with symmetry A1 and E. That's the application of group theory to molecular symmetry. Let us understand the establishment of various molecular orbitals. For that, let you know pictorial presentation. I said that a three hydrogens will produce two irreducible representations, LCAOs of two symmetries, A1 and E. In A1 symmetry, all three hydrogens are with same wave function. Let me consider all are with positive wave function. So, symmetricity will be there. So, 1, 1, 1 and other way, reducible representation, representing 1, 1, 1 as a characters is with a1 Mullikan notation. Other possibility, out of those three, one orbital will be with one wave function and remaining two will be with opposite wave function. Let me consider first hydrogen is white, middle is with gray coloration and right side, that's the third hydrogen is with white color. Means positive, negative, positive, that is a wave distribution. It is for identity. There is no change, so I need to represent it has one. If I consider C3 operation after rotation by 120 degree or you can say by 240 degree, one of the orbitals, say first orbital is negative and other two orbitals are with positive wave function. If I perform vertical plane operation, so let me consider there's a second hydrogen through which this plane passes. Then second hydrogen will remain positive and other two will be with what the negative wave function. It seems to be the same like identity, means original wave function arrangement. Other possibility, one of the hydrogen we have to omit now and other two hydrogens will be with opposite wave function. Previously, they were with the same wave function. Now we have to consider they are with opposite wave function. For the sake of brevity, I consider existence of hydrogen 2 and hydrogen 3. Any two I can consider. So, it is represented by HB and HC. Their wave functions 
will be opposite now. So left hydrogen wave function positive, right side is negative. After rotation of 120 degree or say 240 degree, similarly after reflection through a plane passing through hydrogen A, the representation will be wave function positive to right side and negative to the left side. Let us understand those numbers for the symmetry. For identity, there is no change. One mark for one of the group orbitals from the hydrogen, which is represented upside. And one more mark for second group orbital which is a representation of HB minus HC. After rotation of 120 degree or say 240 degree, the cos theta we need to consider. So what is the answer? Minus half. So minus half for upper orbital and minus half for lower orbital. Minus half for that orbital which has the representation 2HA minus HB minus HC and minus half for a second group orbital. That's a HB minus HC. So in total, it will be minus 1. And for vertical plane, there is no change. Therefore, for symmetry, upper orbital is with the positive wave function. But for second set of the orbital, that's HB minus HC, there is a change. So minus 1. 1 minus 1, 0. So 0 is represented. After all, it is a two-dimensional concept. Till now, we were considering only one orbital and its character. But here, combination of those two which two? 2HA two minus HB minus HC, it is a one of the wave function. And other HB minus HC that we need to consider. These are our LCAOs obtained because of the grouping of orbitals from hydrogen. Now important thing, we need to obtain suitable orbitals from nitrogen. Which orbitals are there on nitrogen? That's say outermost orbital, the S orbital, 2PZ orbital, 2PX and 2PY. But here is a game of doublet. So two dimensional entity which we are considering in XY plane. So PX and PY I consider in E and PZ I consider as a1 and s also is in what the a1 about these symmetries i had a discussion in previous videos let me talk about the s orbital s orbital is spherically symmetric wave function will be uniform maybe either positive or negative after identity no change after c3 also no change and after vertical plane also there is a no change so 1 1 1 is a representation for s orbital it is with which molecular notation yes it's a1 what about pz if I consider upper lobe is positive and lower lobe is negative, with identity no change. With C3 also there is a no change and with vertical plane also there will be no change in the wave function. So again 1 1 1 will be the representation and it is a representation for a 1 molecular notation. So in the team of nitrogen now two players are there with a 1 jersey which are those orbital, VS orbital and 2PZ orbital and we feel that 2px and 2py are two different players here no they occur in two dimension they occur in doublet so we are considering a player with jersey e both are going to combine and that is a representation for 2px and 2py and for the group orbitals again the two players are there a1 and e so now it's a game of a player with symmetry a1 from nitrogen and group orbitals of hydrogen and player with symmetry e from nitrogen and group orbitals of hydrogen. See the molecular orbital establishment. By sky blue color, I consider the interaction between the A1 symmetry orbitals 2s and 2pz and similarly A1 symmetry orbital from group orbitals of nitrogen can come. Pay the attention towards the diagram neatly. Group orbitals of hydrogen all were previously degenerate but when we split them in two parts, one is A1 and other is E. A1 is of low energy and E is of higher energy. The energy with which A1 decreases is double than that of the increase of energy of E. Why? Because E is a doublet. Two orbitals are there. In order to have the barycenter of three group orbitals of hydrogen, decrease of A1 is more than the increase of E. Now, a1 energy levels, A1 orbitals, A1 symmetry orbitals from three hydrogens will interact with A1 symmetry orbital from nitrogen to produce three molecular orbitals now. One is 2A1, other is 3A1 and last one is 4A1. Bonding, non-bonding and anti-bonding. Now other possibility of combination, doublet from the nitrogen that is a 2PX and 2PO orbital that's it and doublet from group orbitals of hydrogen that's a E. The orbitals with E symmetry will interact to produce bonding 
bonding e symmetry orbital and anti bonding e symmetry orbital is the first kind of the orbital therefore 1e and anti bonding orbital is the second kind of the orbital therefore 2e these are the mullikan's notations and about electron distribution concept will be clear to you nitrogen has the five electrons in the outermost orbital and three hydrogens are giving three electrons totally eight electrons we can distribute in 2a1 two electrons and in 1e four electrons and 3a1 two electrons and 3a1 being a non bonding orbital possesses lone pair means existence of lone pair and property of ammonia molecule we can describe on the basis of molecular orbital theory more correctly application of molecular symmetry knowledge to produce various molecular orbitals with the help of lcao method i hope the diagram for ammonia molecule is clear to you let us discuss the mo diagram for methane molecule in next part as a homework simple question i am asking the answer for this question is given in our discussion three hydrogens are there in the ammonia molecule and those three hydrogens do combine to form the group orbitals those group orbitals have their representation and we get reducible representation by bond vector method that reducible representation after reduction gives irreducible representation i want the label i want the notation for those irreducible representations which can be obtained for ammonia molecule which are lcaos or group symmetry orbitals of the hydrogen just write the labels or notations or names for those irreducible representations for three hydrogens in ammonia